going. I'm Daphna. I'm gonna give a little production tutorial on my song, I Wanna Feel. I've been meaning to do like these tutorials literally for the last two years, but I just never got around to it. I don't know, it wasn't a priority, I guess. But I'm excited to finally get into it. This song is like one of my favorite that I've written and the production is just super fun. I'm like a fake producer though, so when it comes to technical stuff, I don't really know what's going on. I more of just do it based off of what sounds good to me just personal preference. There are some things that I picked up on over the years just by talking to people or watching videos or reading articles, but a lot of it is just, you know, vibes. Let's get on this. I'm gonna put my glasses on. And let's do this. So I'm gonna do it kind of section by section, I think. We're gonna start with the verses. Pretty much the main element that we have going on throughout almost the whole song is this synth I found um, it's in the OPXA Arturia plugin. It's the AC2 bass. I did modify it a little bit. I cannot remember for the life of me what it is that I changed. And then, so let's hear that without any of my plugins on it. Very punchy, very fun. So that's like the main melody that I kind of came up with. That is like what sold the song to me. That was like, okay. We're talking now. I'm gonna start producing the hell out of this. I then added a compressor to it, but that's how it sounds like with the compressor. These are the settings I have on it. I don't really know what I did. I can't remember, um, but I did something and that's why it sounds like this. And then I added this like distortion plugin on it. It's usually like a anime woman with boobs i decided to not have the boob version so it's just this banana getting its life squeezed out of it and i pretty much automated it so that the high cut um like eq thing would increase as we go on just because i like how it kind of starts out like with like a thin sound and then as like we're getting into the song it kind of like you know, it becomes fuller. Oh, the shaper box. I don't actually have it turned on in the very beginning. If we move to like when the drums come in right here, I have it on and I just have it acting as a side chain. So it kind of just like ducks out. It like ducks out whenever the kick hits. So then the kick comes through more. It just kind of gives it that like And then I have a bit of an EQ on it. I wanted more of like the mid highs to come out without it it's just like very it doesn't it sounds lifeless almost but when you add it it like just like brings out that like brightness in it almost so it's yeah it's a lot more bright a lot more like in your face got rid of those highs because i don't really need them like these frequencies don't really need them you know they don't really add much so i got rid of them maybe they do add much but i don't like them and then i have this rc20 plugin on and this one it just like this plugin, I love it. It like gives like each instrument or each like thing that I added on, it like gives it a space that it's living in. Like has it with it and then without it, with it, it's like, it's very slight, but it's just like a little bit more distorted, a little bit more like, like this synth is somewhere. It's not just on my computer. Um, and then of course some reverb. So then also adding into that that space that we want. I just have one reverb kind of for everything in the song and it's just this Sound Toys little plate plugin and I just have it going through a bus to that. That's what the main synth sounds like. That's like pretty much the whole song is that. And then my vocals come in. So we have Just one track it's my main vocals pretty much how I record them is I have the Apollo interface Apollo twin UAD is like the company they're great because they pretty much emulate a bunch of like the real hardware that like real life producers have in their studios like it's emulated it's like the digital version and you then like get access to all these plugins when you buy one of these it is expensive though so it's like more of only when I was like really producing all the time making music and could like 
hear the difference is when I like figured it would be a good thing to invest in. But pretty much the way I have my vocals recorded is I have the AT2020 Audio Technica mic. This is the first mic I've ever bought. I haven't bought another mic, I guess four years now, just because I haven't found a mic that I like the sound of my voice on that's like worth the money. Cause this one's a hundred bucks. And like for how it sounds, like I, I love how it makes my voice sound. Pretty much the, what this is, is this, Audio is recorded using, like going through the Apollo interface. And then on it, I have the Neve preamp. I don't exactly know what preamps do. I'm kind of pulling this out of my ass, but I think since it's like recording it at such like a low volume, then like it, and then like is amplifying it, then it's like there's less noise or like unwanted noise is my guess. I'm, I'm probably, I might be making that up. Editor break, I'm editing the video right now. I was right. This is what the internet says. I'm not smart. But yeah, I have that thrown on there. So then yeah, super low um, like input then for my vocals. This is what those vocals sound like without any of the plugins. Maybe it's clinical, or maybe it's a series of circumstances that made me this way. It sounds pretty clean already without any, like, yeah, without anything on it. I always just immediately EQ my vocals, so kind of get rid of any of the frequencies I don't need. I don't need any of that. Um, and then with this song, I usually like to have my vocals a bit warmer, but this song, since it's like so like upbeat and high energy, I th thought a brighter vocal made sense. Maybe it's clean So gold. I have like these frequencies kind of like brought up. These ones where I'm cutting it out, I think that was just any like annoying frequencies that popped up. I just kind of like dot duck them out got rid of them i don't need them then after that i have a compressor on my vocals this is i'm just using like the default studio vocal preset so if there is a better way to do it you know send me the things but i, I like the sound of it i, I thought it sounded maybe good maybe it's clinical or maybe it's a series of circumstances that made me this way echo boy is just like a nice echo, echo. you know some like reverb Deesser, I like whistle my S's, so I kind of put this, I have to put this on my vocals, otherwise Clinical, it's not like, or maybe it's a series of circumstances that made me this way. This is a very S heavy song, got rid of that. I usually don't put pitch correction on my vocals, but I did a little bit in this one because I wanted every note to just be like exact. Like I want it to be almost robotic. Clinical, or maybe it's a series of circumstances that made me this way. So yeah, it doesn't do much because I was I was mostly on pitch, but it just like kind of like perfects it a little bit more. And then I have it going through that same reverb bus that everything else is going through. So that's the very beginning. That's the intro, that's the first vocals. Then I have the drums come in. We got this main kick going. Okay, it's just like a loud kick. Apparently, I, again, I told you, I'm not very technical. I break rules every now and then. Um, I, apparently it's not advised to put two kicks at the same time. Like usually you're supposed to just put like one just really good kick. We have two kicks. I wanted multiple kicks because I felt like, I like when there's like a low kick and a high kick and then you just, and then it sounds more full. This first one is more of like a high end kick. It's just a sample from Splice. I can hear, like, this is what it sounds like with nothing on. What the fuck is that? You know, very flat. There's nothing. It's just like, it sounds like I'm going splat, splat, splat. Like, there's nothing. So then I cued it a little bit. Already, the EQ makes a huge difference. Like, hear that difference. Pretty much what I did is I brought in more of the bright high ends, and I just got rid of, like, a lot of the mids. I wanted it to just be, like, kind of in your face. So I added then a decapitator, which is like a saturation plugin, gave it some some grit, just like a little bit more, it kind of like comes out more. And then I put a compressor on it, just gave it like more of a brighter, brighter feel. And then put it through that same reverb bus. So that's the first kick. And then I felt like it was missing a little bit of the low end. So that's where this sample comes in. Yeah, it's a bit just more like, low it's like a deep kick and i didn't do much for this one i literally just added an eq to it and just boosted the bass but yeah just got rid of all the mids and then together that sounds like this and i liked the sound of that even if it was breaking a little bit of the rules so then the other parts of the drums 
So I have three hats going on. The first one is just this one on like the slight left. Just like a, you know, I don't even actually have any plugins on that one. It's literally just the straight sample. But yeah, just eighth notes. And then I want it just to be like disco kind of. So I have a hat opening. That's this one. But I added a phaser onto it. Listen to the difference it sounds without the phaser. It's like not as fun at all. It doesn't even sound like it's opening. But then this is just like, ooh, ooh. So with the other hi-hat that sounds like this. And then we have another hat on the right. But it's just a little. Just gives it some more color. And then yeah, all of those hats together. Super fun. And then the snare, I just have one snare actually. Sometimes I double them, but this one's just, I felt like this one was fat. It's just like a fun splat. And then, so yeah, I have the decapitator saturation on it. It gives it a little edge. Um, the, again, RC20, snareify. Hear that, do you hear that difference? It like just makes it fill the space way more. So I love that plugin. And then yeah, also just an EQ. I just made brought up the mids a little bit and then got rid of more of the lows. Really gives it some oomph. So then all the drums together. So now we've made it to the pre-chorus. Um, so a lot of the elements here are pretty much the same. All of the synths, the bass, the drums didn't change it. Um, what I did add is now the main vocal line also has two additional vocals coming from the right and the left. I did hard right, hard left. Usually in most of my songs, I do have this kind of like tripling of my vocals, um, but then I have them panned more like in the middle left and right. But this one, I want it to be very like coming from like here, here, like direct. And then again, since I'm not really changing much of the other production elements, I knew I needed like big backing vocals. So those sound like this. Wanna take no medication. I don't wanna operate my brain. brain. I For each harmony, I have a center right and left, center right, left. I think it's just three harmonies. And then yeah, the chain is pretty similar to what I have on my main vocals. I think less stuff. Um, but then yeah, for the brain part, I wanted that to kind of come from everywhere. So then I had like even more singing that. My brain, brain, my See, so it's kind of like more in your face. So then with all of the vocals together, that sounds like. I don't wanna operate my brain. brain. And for the chorus, okay, this is where we get a little crazy and I have way more than just the one, you know, synth going on. I wanna feel the same as I did. So immediately we have going in, I have this riser. So that is going on through the whole pre. So then once we get to the end, it's like, it's like screaming at you. It's like kind of just building momentum as we're going through. Um, and then I also in the intro have this, it's like a, I reversed this, the, the beginning of this synth. So then it sounds like this. It's just like very like quick. It's just like this organ and then the reverse of it like ending. So then that leads into this, which is the Farfisa plugin. I love this plugin. I use this shit on everything. But yeah, it's also an Arturia one. Um, this is what it sounds like. It's like an organ. Yeah, four organs. And on this, I threw on a spreader, which pretty much just yeah, makes it more in the space. And then again, good old nanny distortion plugin. Give it some grit. Then on top of that, we also have this synth going, which is... I love this one. This is also from the OPX um, synth, hard lead. It's just like, I love like the like, it nasally, it's like a nasally the synth almost, but it's just so fun. So that we have for some texture, some dis distortion almost. And then yeah, we have this Arpy synth. And then another of the little nasally bad boy. 
and then yeah all that together sounds so fun and then i have this note coming in so that's super fun um oh and then we got these ones down here what does that sound like on its own got this one just yeah more of a bass because we were getting rid of the other bass and then a very deep sub bass underneath that And then since those are all like long notes, like nothing's really happening with them, I felt like I needed a little bit of like, you know, variation. So I have this little um, synth I found, I call it Pew Pew. It's from the Tal, you know, LX thing, Arp Circles Arpeggio, so fun. I love this synth. I have it on like a bunch of songs now. So yeah, we didn't, so we didn't fully lose, oops this element it's still there but like more subtly and then i have this so this is actually the one of the synths it's not midi crazy i usually just record all my synth stuff just like midi but i made this purchase earlier this year this is like a mini version of the juno 60 um so it's the ju06a from roland i love the sounds on this synth they're so fun so then we have this playing So this was like the, the sound I did. And then I usually write down what preset it is, but I didn't, which is annoying because I will not be able to redo, the, redo that. But I added like a tremolo. So it just kind of coming in from all sounds, a delay. And then I did two octaves of it. And then, yeah, we have the delay. So it kind of just like builds off. So then, yeah, all together, that sounds like this. I wanna feel the same as I did. I wanna feel the same when I was a kid. I wanna feel the same as I did. I wanna feel the same when I was a kid. I wanna feel the same. Sick. Oh, and then another vocal thing that I have going on is this doubling of my main vocals, but I have it just like fully low octave. So I'm using the little Alter Boy plugin to just pitch it down. And then what I did, I pretty much bounced all of these vocals together so you can hear like the harmonies in there. So yeah, I just have like the very low, like just gives it, makes it fuller. Now we've made it to the post chorus. We have another intro thing because it falls. So yeah, we need them. So one of the things I have going on for the intro to the transition. What I did with this is I pretty much, I took like a clip of me singing and then I tremoloed it a bunch and then I reversed it. So, and then it gives it this type of sound. That's, and that's based off of, that's these vocals that I tremoloed. Yeah, so I wanted that fun kind of like vocal processed, like post-chorus type feel, but not too much. So it's kind of more in the background, but um, yeah, it has a tremolo, so it's coming on both sides, the phaser to give it that more like variation, and then a side chain. So that's how it's like ducking in and out. And what this is, is pretty much just me singing same, and then this one, me going same, and then same, and I'm literally just holding it out, and then all of those plugins is what gives it that feel. Um, so that's the only vocals I have on the post-chorus. The synths are pretty much the same ones that I have in everything else. But the only difference is I added the side chain onto them. So that's automated here. Pretty much, I don't have the side chain in the pre's at all, but in the chorus, it pops up and then it gives all the synths more of like an oomph, oomph. And then we bring back our, you know, the glue of the song, this bad boy. The only changes I made to the drums is I found this fill on Splice. It was just fun. And then I think this is that same fill, but I reversed it. 
So then that together, yeah, we just got that. And then it goes into the regular jumps that we have. But then I also added this little tambourine off. My camera decided to cut out. I don't know when it cut out. We got, yeah, this little drum thing. And then we got this tambourine shaker on top. Again, make it brighter, fill in more space. And then I add a cymbal crash, you know. And then with the kick and everything. And then there was this really cool, just like stock Logic plugin. That sounds like this. It's like a drum pattern. Some like bongos or whatever. And then I EQ'd them so they would be brighter. So just like at the high end of it, I didn't want any of the lows because I thought it would make it more muddy, you know? Put in a bit crusher. Which kind of just gives it that gritty computer feel. And yeah, then have some reverb on that. And then I also added this bass. Like, I love, like these synths just sound like someone is like shitting. It sounds like IBS. This is if IBS was a synth. It also sounds like lasers shooting in a way. So that's super fun. Now for the second verse, it's different. It's not the same as the first, okay? Pretty much what I what's changed is, you know, it's just fuller now. We're in the song. We gotta we have stuff going on now. I just have more synths. Oh, this is a new one. I added in this mellow cello synth, which is just a Mellotron, but like a strings, chamber strings on the Mellotron. And then I added our favorite RC20 to give it some more texture. And then this is what that sounds like on its own. Just so beautiful. And then so yeah, I wanted like the second verse to have more of like an airy feel to it, but then like also still fun. So we have this new synth going on. This kind of reminds me of like Fireflies, Owl City kind of vibes, but I loved this synth. It's from, I called it Sci-Fi Nation, but it's from the CX DX7 plugin. It's called Jumpsy Arpsy, which that's also a great name. Honestly, maybe I should rename that. But yeah, it's just a little arp that's jumping around. And then the other synth that I have added on is also from OPX. Oh, it's the same. It's the same main synth that we got going, but it's just different melody. And then I have it um, two octaves. So then all together, we got... And now we have to transition where the drums come in. So I have this thing going. So we got this little, this is called the Mega Drive synth from DX7. I love this synth too. I have it in my song, You and Me, French Rave. I just am in love with the sound. I literally feel like I'm at a French rave in the 80s every time I hear the sound. French rave vibes all the way. Oh, system overload, that's fun. System overload. Anyways, then the drums come back in. Didn't change anything in those. Same amount of backing vocals. That's the second verse, super fun. Now we have the second pre. I don't wanna save my money. So really the two main new elements are these backing vocals I have. Just me singing. This is what it sounds like with no plugins. This is actually kind of crazy. So I want it to sound kind of like an electric guitar almost but it's like coming through a radio. And then I have some yelling vocals in the background. I love yelling vocals. I, if you haven't noticed, I've just been adding that to every song now. No, no! Yeah, literally just me yelling no with distortion on it and then spread. And I think I have it like, what is that, six times? Super fun. The chorus, I guess, is now pretty much the same. I wanna feel the same. But as you can hear, I don't have 
the transition into that anymore. I just want it to be more like, I want to feel the same instead of the same. Just same. I want to feel the same. That's pretty much the same buildup, but the only difference is I now have the vocal double going. I want to feel the so, and then we have the post chorus. And that's pretty much the same as the first one, but it's bigger now because I have more synths going on. The same ones that I was showing you before, but now there's all playing together. And then we have like the post post where I have some like ending vocals. First, I just have my normal backing vocals come in. Did I want to feel the same as I did? So then we have the main vocals. I don't want to feel alone again, but I'm still wasting to the space between a lover and a friend. So I have heavy pitch correction on this one because I want it to be perfect. Let's hear that without anything. I don't want to feel alone again, but I'm still wasting to the space between a lover and a friend. And then I have a vocal double. I don't want to feel alone again. And then we have a harmony coming in. I don't want to feel alone again, so I delay it as a way to feel And then another harmony. I don't want to feel alone again. And then it kind of delays. I can't remember if I actually sang this one. I want to see what this one sounds like with nothing. So that was as high as I could sing, but then I wanted to be. Can't even sing it. I wanted to be that now, ah, but I was singing. Ah. So what I did is I put in some pitch correction and made it just a C. And that's what that sounds like. Terrible. But then all together, it sounds like this. So for the very end. I wanted this song to flow into the next song on the album. Spoiler. Um, so I pretty much what I did is I automated the tempo to slow down because the next song is like at 100 BPM. And so we just have it like slowly slowing down. Bum, bum, bum. And then the other element I added is this distorted piano thing with a phaser. And then it kind of feels like we're gearing out, we're slowing down, like chugging along. So that's super fun. And then this synth is the song that is the main synth for the next song. So that's why we have this going on too. And then it kind of slows down. And then that leads straight into the next song. I think that's kind of all I have to show you. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, sorry. Not all of my songs have this much going on. Some of them I definitely are like less produced. But yeah, this one needed to be big. So I added a shit ton for sure. Thank you for watching also if you made it this far. Super appreciate it. Um, and hopefully, you know, you learned something. I think if anything, since I don't know anything, it shows that you don't have to know things to be able to do things. Sometimes you can just do it without really knowing what's going on. And it turns out okay. Anyways, have a good one. Love you. Goodbye. I don't